guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello. I hope you'll stick around, so subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol so you don't miss when I upload. I've been consistently uploading three times a week. I'm so proud of myself. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and check the description box below to find the links to where to find me outside of YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you're not following me on social medias already, you might want to because that is where I do my vape giveaways. I don't do them here on YouTube. It's against the rules technically not technically it literally is against the rules So any extra vape stuff that I get from companies I give away on my social medias and chances are I have a giveaway running right now So go check it out if you're not already You can also find in the description box below a link to my patreon which is vape related monthly rewards you can check out the tiers that I have to offer and a link to my second YouTube channel where I do non vape related videos So if you want to see what else I bring to the internet check it out but let's get into the video and I'm really excited. I've been wanting to try this since my friend Maddie showed me it when I was still in Seattle. So it's not brand new, but um, I am so excited. This is the, oh Ryan, this is the original one because there is a second version out, but I am so excited. So the device and the pod come separately. I'm, I'm not sure if you get one automatically with this or not but I was sent this by um, directvapor.com. So I'm just gonna, I already opened it to like sneak peek look at it. User's manual, guidance information. And here we go. We have a little lanyard for it. Oops. A, some sort of protective ring, micro USB to USB charge cord, and the itty bitty Orion itself. Now, um, Maddie had a really pretty colored one, which is what made me want it so bad. This one's just black, which is fine. It's a pod. I mean, like that's that's the big thing is I love me some pods. So here it is, super little, but you gotta have one of these to complete the look. So I'll open these up. How many pods are in here? Maybe three, two. So it comes two pods in there. And these are what the pod looks like. Pop one of these suckers out. So here we go, we have the mouthpiece and the little cap to fill. So you just screw this little cap off and you fill the e-liquid down in there. The um, mouthpiece too also has an adjustable airflow ring at the top, but it's hard to like adjust it and show you at the same time because it's so tiny that my hands are in the way really. Here is the contacts at the bottom and it does say that this is a stainless steel 0.5 ohm coil if my camera will ever focus on it there we go so to give this coil some time to wake up i'm going ahead and fill it up right now with some cloud kiss hello this is my flavor with bonsai vapor.com and that's where it's available it's a strawberry cake batter it's so good i have a coupon code tia20 for 20 percent off your order or any other flavor on bonsai vapor's website it comes in 100 ml bottles available in 0 3 6 and 12 milligrams nicotine and it is 70 percent vegetable glycerin 30 percent propylene glycol I am gonna fill up this pod and then I'll tell you like specs about it and like how much it holds and whatnot But I just wanted to get that going real quick Real quick so it we can vape it once I'm done telling you about it This is powered by the evolve DNA go chip chip set Excuse me. The pod does hold two mils of e-liquid and it just clicks right down into here the battery contacts on the mod You just use this little thing and you spring it down and then you can click in the pod There you go. And she's in. Ooh, it's so cute it Says lost vape here and Orion on the other side. This does have a built-in rechargeable 900 milliamp hour battery It is 93 millimeters by 37 millimeters by 13 and a half millimeters here we do have an adjustment button at the bottom, the fire button, and the release button for the pod. And here on the bottom corner, you pull it out and that's where you charge it. Peekaboo. I did notice some battery venting holes on the bottom. That is bueno. It weighs about 87 grams without the pod. It has this replay feature where you vape it and you're like, this is the perfect vape. It will do that again for you. It also has boost, which is like instant flavor and vapor production with temperature limiting and anti dry hit function. And it has auto detect for the ohms of the coil, which automatically change the power setting. They average about 400 puffs per pod fill like for two mils who knows it depends on you as a vapor it does have three levels of adjustment low medium and high for power levels and then the airflow adjustment claims to change it from mouth to lung to direct to lung so pressing the button five times turns it on or unlocks it and five times locks it pressing it two times 
checks the battery status. Oh no, it was red. Red, that sucks. Because it does like a light blue for 95 to 100%, green to 75 to 95%, yellow for 30 to 70%, red for 15 to 30%, and flashing red zero to 15, so you gotta charge it. So I'll tell you a little bit more about it and then I'm gonna have to let it charge up before I try it out. And to change the level to low, medium, or high for power, you just press it and you can see low medium high and when you vaped it and found like the perfect vape to do the replay mode you just press and hold the adjustment button for three seconds and then it should turn green but i obviously haven't puffed it so i'm not sure if that's really gonna work but then to, to disable it you just press and hold for three seconds again so let me let this charge up i'll come back and i will try it out for you guys it does have pass-through technology which means you can vape it while it's charging but i only have a short charge cord so can't do that and it also you can upgrade the firmware through that port as well all right guys i let this i almost said wick up <laughs> i let this charge up for a little bit i have the airflow wide open because that's how i like it and um i have it on what power setting do i have it on low but i want to do high because hello just giving little toots <laughs> that was a weird sound. Also, I love this. Um, I was almost, because I know that uh, I liked it when Maddie was showing it to me, but I don't know if I actually vaped on it because she um, does higher nicotine, way higher nicotine than I do sometimes. Um, so I didn't actually experience the vape on it, and I was assuming that it was going to be probably a pretty tight draw because it's a pod, but oh my god, no, it's not, and it's perfect. Clouds, bitch. I do want to say though, and it might be that I just need to like vape more through it. My flavor is delicious, but it's not coming through as strong as I'm used to. But like I said, probably gotta run the cotton through, you know? So I wanted to show you guys um, replay mode in action. So you press and hold this button for three seconds. And then it's green. And that means that replay mode is on and the green light will stay on when you're vaping it. And then to turn it off, you just press and hold for three seconds and it'll go off. And um, this only charged up to the yellow of the indicator light, which anywhere from 30 to 70%. So I'm not sure. I like gave it 15 minutes to charge. Let me turn down the um, airflow though and see if it's. I like it guys. I would like it even more if it had some sort of cap just cause this protrudes and I feel like if I stuck it in my purse like get stuff down in there. It's crazy that this little tiny guy has what, 50 milliamp hours less than the big PAL 2 by Artery. Cause this is way more pocketable. But I like the PAL too because you can change out the coil within the pod. This you have to hold, you have to you have to toss the whole cartridge. That's a lot. That's a lot. Click click click. Oh, I like it though. I really do. If you want to check it out, you can go to directvapor.com. That's D-I-R-E-C-T-V-A-P-O-R.com. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of it. I I love it and if I had the pretty one of it I would probably love it a lot more it's so funny that color makes a lot of a difference for me when it's like a love at first sight thing you know so that's it for the video I hope you enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to fight for your right to vape so as always I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video